So, hey everyone, this is Patya Dilipakash and today we are going to talk on how to get a data analytics internship and most probably how to use it to step into a full-time data analyst job. So, again, a bit about me. This is a full-time data analyst as of now who is also working in AI teams now as well as the customer analysis and product analysis. And I'm also founder of Shivai, this particular channel and my startup that is still being built. So, so for my personal journey, like I started as an intern in my current organization and now I work here full time. So my journey wasn't traditional. I just wanted to share both the usual method that was there and what actually happened for me. So you can just pick up whichever one you like and which best suits you. Plus, I have a data analytics resource pack that is for 1,000 rupees to help you learn and get various learning materials that has more than 2K worth of materials and data sets and also a one-on-one mentorship program data analytics course and that is for 20,000. If you're seriously worried about getting a job and internship and want to learn it faster, that will be your way. So without any further delay, let's start with the steps. So first is to build the right skill set. So before even applying for internship, you need to have some foundational skills that you have that a company looks for in a data list intern. So some of the essential skills I'll just talk about. First is Excel and SQL. So that is used in every company like uh, for data analytics and querying. Everyone will be using Excel and SQL. And if it is a MongoDB thing, still they'll use a low skill model or something they'll use and you can second is very important nowadays is either python or r depend on what your firm does whichever place you're applying to because it helps in data automation as well as performing analytics because you can't do everything in excel or power bi or something like that and then second one and the as we talked was Python or R. And the third one is data visualization tool as mentioned in second one point, RBI or Tableau. So it helps you present data more efficiently in a visual manner. So I'll talk about my experience now. So I knew SQL, Excel and Python, but what made me stand out was my Tableau project that I did on Big Basket Data that was available on Kaggle. So I created an interactive dashboard based on the big data that was there and I hosted it publicly and shared on LinkedIn and every place and documented it. And that is why I created this uh, data analytics resource pack so that you have pre-made cheat sheet, data sets and books everywhere and project idea is code there so that you can start building your own portfolio and projects right away, which may land you a job, you never know. And then step two is to build a portfolio before even applying. So a portfolio increases your child chance of getting hired, you know, by pro- proving that you have and know how to apply your skills. So how to build a portfolio for free? You can post it on GitHub pages or GitHub or Kaggle anywhere. And you can publish interactive dashboard on, you know, Tableau, Public or Power BI. And you can write on Medium or LinkedIn explaining your projects and just if you like writing you can do it or you can document on Instagram or YouTube where it, whichever place you like okay. so my personal experience was my content creation actually played a huge role in landing me a job I wrote about my projects insights and learning online which got the recruiters attention and that is why my one-on-one mentorship program explained how to showcase your projects that you built Properly, if you know anything, there's no point of teaching projects also. Because skills alone won't l- lend you a job in 2025. If you don't know how to present them well, because your data analytics job is only to present it well. And step third is to where to find the data analytics internship, the most important question. So now that you have a skill, then a lot, couple of them also, and a portfolio, let's talk about how, where to apply. So the traditional way of applying to internship is company's website, check their career pages, wherever they're hiring interns or full-time job. And then LinkedIn jobs use, you know, internship filter in it and start filtering based on whichever experience and criteria that you want. 
then go to job boards such as Intel, Shala, Nokri, or Indeed, so that you can apply there. Or referrals, that is also a huge point now. Like you reach out to professional LinkedIn for opportunities. And my personal skill, I didn't get my internship to traditional applications. Instead, my portfolio and content actually got me noticed. And I was offered a internship opportunity because people had already seen my work. So if you want to fast track your journey, my mentorship program includes a resume, a review, you know, mock interview and a personalized roadmap to help you land an internship quicker. And the step four is to acing the interview process. Like it's very important. Otherwise, what's the point of doing all this? And once you land the interview, the next step mostly in the interview is to prove that you are a great fit for it. So some of the common data latest intern Chip question will be how do you analyze and clean a basic data set like then give you some example you have to do it then you have to explain a project that you have worked on and what skills you used and what outcome you give and how was the KPIs impacted basically how key performance indicator next how you help the business or help somewhat and how do you approach how to see the data data visualization product so this is also important so my personal experience my in my inter- view that was happening I talked about my big basket tableau data base that I created and you know the dashboard was showing all of it and how I cleaned the data like I use python and all those things and visualized trend and saw it and generated insights I even shared the link with the recruiter already they seen in my resume the portfolio everywhere they have seen it so that is why in my one-on-one mentorship program I conduct mock interviews so that you can understand and answer these questions with confidence and other questions also that are in trend right now. So if you are, you know, turning an internship into a full job, that is, you know, full-time job, that is step five. So securing an internship is great, but do you want to convert it to full-time? Most of people will. So, so I'll talk about what things work for me in it. So, Take initiated, like uh, like one and for extra work. I know it's extra hours and all those things. But if you want to do that, you'll have to. Like volunteer for extra projects. And stay curious, like what other teams are working or what they are working on. And network within your company, like uh, connect with colleagues, managers, especially people who are higher ups and who have a lot of connections. And then deliver value. Like if you're, you make your teams and your stakeholders life easier, they'll keep you around. It's as simple as that. And my personal experience, like I treated my internship as a full-time job, even though I was getting a lot of tasks there. So I took extra tasks. I helped automate a lot of processes and continue sharing my work with team so that everyone has transparency and everything. So by the time my internship ended, I already have proven my work and given me a full-time role. So even before it ended, I got the full-time offer. So that thing is it. So a bonus tip in case you are, you know, struggling to find an internship is if you are create your opportunity, like you have to create it, like how work on real time projects on public data set, volunteer for freelance work or contribute to open source data projects. Then show your knowledge, like even write on uh, LinkedIn, make videos or anything like that or Power BI, which will get the recruiter's attention. So don't just build anything, build something that people actually are wanting. And if you want to again fast track this journey, you can apply for data analytics mentorship program. The link will be again in description that will show you step-by-step guide on how to build your portfolio and apply for internship and get your interview ready. And uh, this will be the last part of the video with the talk about my both of these things. So if you're serious about breaking into data analytics, you will have to know and what to do so first is my data analytics resource pack that includes cheat sheet more than 2k worth of it like 2k materials are there and then data set SQL queries project ideas with code everything will be there and then learning roadmaps everything is there and there is a one 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 mentorship consultancy program that is for 20,000 that includes resume reviews mock interviews and structured roadmap to land you a full-time job or internship So check out my top mid links that will be there for that and will be my link tree so that you can connect me on socials, Instagram, I'm very active on, you can connect me there and all those platforms. 
and with that being said this comes to an end I'll let me down in the comments below like how you are taking the approach and do connect with me I always love hearing from you guys already helped uh, more than 500 students been really great the past year has been really great so I'd love to hear from you and what are you planning for your data analytics internship so drop your questions and internship in the comments below I'll be more than happy to help you and if you found this video helpful just give it a thumbs up and you know share it with people who will need it and then subscribe for more these kind of content and keep spreading Shiva's word and thank you and I'll see you in the next one